In my previous video, I covered my Office Emergency Preparedness Kit, or EPK. It's just a basic set of supplies that if I happen to be in an emergency situation while I was at work and needed to bunker in place for an extended period of time, it would provide me with basic supplies for that type of situation. Well, as part of that video, I also had some food that was related to the Office EPK, and I had some just basic snacks that were stored in a container that would go in the filing cabinet. Well, in that original video, I had a lot of Cliff Bars, but I also had some candy bars in there, and you, the audience, called me out on it and said, hey, Tup, you shouldn't have that many candy bars in there. It's pure sugar. You'd be better off having nothing at all. And you know what? You're right. So what I did is I got rid of all the candy bars in my office EPK and replaced it for healthier options. So I just wanted to do a quick little video with regard to what type of snacks that you should have in your emergency kits, whether it be an office EPK or a bug out bag or a get home bag or in your vehicle. I'm moving more towards in that first 24 to 48 hours, having stuff that's just grab and go food where you just open it up, eat it, rather than stuff that I'd have to prepare like Mountain House or even an MRE where you're trying to heat it up and stuff. For that first 24 to 48 hours, I'm leaning more towards quick grab and go food items. So let's talk about that now in this video. So again, in that original video, while I did have a lot of Cliff Bars in there, I also had some candy bars like Snickers and Kit Kat, which aren't the most healthy for you. I shouldn't be eating them anyway, but I kind of have a little bit of a sweet tooth. So I went over to my local REI and picked up a variety of different food items, things that are healthier, some protein options. Here's some Tatanka, uh, the fatty uh, meat stick, in addition to uh, the uh, Bobo's, and then we have some other more uh, protein bars. This saves lives, we have this one. And for the sweet stuff, I went with the Honey Stinger Energy Gel, which is a little bit better than having just straight up chocolate, I guess. And so that's what I picked up when I was over at REI. So while the Snickers bars and the candy bars that you could get at the grocery store are a lot more affordable and they have a longer shelf life, these are healthier options that you should really have in your emergency kits, including your office EPK and your bug out bag or any other kind of emergency kit. So again, I wanted to thank everyone for calling me out in the office EPK and telling me to switch out those candy bars for healthier options. So I've made the adjustments for this kit and what I'd like to do with this video is standardize this approach for all of my kits so I can make the adjustment for my bug out bag, for my get home bag, for my vehicle preps, you name it. I wanna have a standardized approach for these type of snacks, which I'm looking at using in the first 24 to 48 hours of an emergency situation. This is something that I did a few years back for the color of prepping, which has been very beneficial for me as far as standardizing the colors that I used for the modules in my various kits. And I think that could be leveraged for this particular topic as well. So the three main things that I'm interested in hearing from you from in the comment section are what items to include in there, the number of calories that I should shoot for in a 24 hour period. So whether that be 1200 calories, 1600 calories, 2000 calories or more. And then what type of rotation schedule that I should plan out for these snacks. Again, a lot of the healthier items have a shorter shelf life than other things. So you would need to have some kind of rotation schedule, whether it be once a year in January, for example, or two times a year. So again, leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video and include what snacks that you would include for 24 to 48 hours of all your emergency kits, how many calories you'd wanna shoot for, and then what type of rotation schedule. So leave those comments below, I'll gather them all up and then we'll standardize them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks again for calling me out on the candy bars and I've made the adjustments and stay tuned for more videos that have a lot more coming up. See you guys next time.